YouTube show. What other materials do we need to know about for, for a starter greenhouse? We need the frame. We need the floor. We need the, you know, the, the painting. Uh, people talk a lot about fans and ventilation and heat. So what other things are we going to need to be buying for our first greenhouse? Yeah. So I think that, um, a lot of people forget that, uh, greenhouse greenhouses are pretty reliant on ventilation to Mm -hmm. operate correctly. Um, and maybe this is a good time actually to, to kind of classify some different types of greenhouses because ventilation is a key factor. Great. Um, a greenhouse would be defined as, you know, like a, a controlled environmental room um, that has ventilation, one, and does not have heating. Uh, those are like the two things that make a greenhouse a greenhouse. Um, a hot house is a greenhouse that has ventilation and heating. So okay. most commercial greenhouses are actually hot houses. And you'll find that even in like the desert of Arizona, when people are doing commercial grow operations they are still using hot houses um even though it's it's hot in arizona just because um the ability to to very narrowly define your temperature is is critical for like achieving really high productivity in plants um i mean for home growers not a huge deal uh so after we have greenhouses and hot houses uh, another really common one is cold frames and this is I think a lot of people uh, look at cold frames and call them greenhouses. I mean, because they look identical. The the difference here is that cold frames don't have ventilation uh, or heat. So these are like pretty much every greenhouse greenhouse that you buy that's less than three or $400 is really just a cold frame uh, because it doesn't have, it wasn't designed for ventilation, you know? and the purpose of a cold frame is, is just to extend the growing season by a few weeks in either direction, you know, start your plants early or get one more harvest out of your strawberries kind of thing. Mm-hmm. Um, when you want to start growing plants through the winter is when you upgrade to a greenhouse, which is heated or a hot house, which is heated. Um, those are the three types of greenhouses that are common, cold mm-hmm. frame, greenhouse, hot house in order of, <laughs> I guess, ascending heat. Um, yeah. So and, if I'm in New York zone five, if I have a cold frame with no heat, basically I'm using it to start seeds and, you know, mm-hmm. get my tomatoes going a little bit earlier and yeah, also exactly. harden, harden off plants, um, yes. harden mm-hmm. off start starts. If, how does, how does the ventilation and heating work? So if I was to buy, can I buy a kit that comes with heating? Like, how does that work. (laughs) Um, Yeah. So so the first thing you need to do uh, for all of your greenhouse like air conditioning needs, uh, you will want this number, which is the the total volume of your greenhouse. Um, And I guess what's the formula? It's length times width times height is volume, assuming Mm -hmm. your greenhouse is a cube, but it's probably not. Um, It's probably Uh, what is that a gable shape when it's got the yeah Mm -hmm. and I think that then the formula becomes like you can kind of get a rough estimate if you do length times width times one half of the height okay and that sort of accounts for you know the volume that isn't really there um and this will give you how many cubic feet of air are in your house in your greenhouse um and this is a pretty important number because you're going to reference it whenever you're looking at ventilation or heating um rule of thumb for ventilation you want to try to cycle all of the air in your greenhouse in one minute okay so if you have i guess a a 10 by 10 by 10 greenhouse which is a perfect cube for some reason and that means it has a hundred hundred cubic feet of air no that means it has a thousand thousand right there we go uh so then you need to find a a fan or an exhaust fan that is rated to push 1,000 cubic feet of air uh, per minute. Um, and I think that the, the unit is CFM, cubic okay. feet per minute. Um, so there are a couple types of, of fans for greenhouses. There's just like, you know, a shop fan or a desk fan. And those work uh, for pushing air around, which is 
a helpful exercise, although it's not the most effective way to cool a greenhouse. Um, an exhaust fan is, is one that's set into the walls of your greenhouse and it moves air from inside to outside and vice versa. Um, usually they come in pairs so that you can put one on one side of the greenhouse and one on the other, and you just move air from the inside to the outside mm, okay. you know, all the way through. Uh, that's a really effective way of, of cycling your air quickly. Um, there's other fans and ventilators that we can consider. Um, vents are a really common addition for greenhouses and many kits have vents built in or, or like ports for you mm -hmm. to install an aftermarket vent. Um, I think there are many different kinds of vents, but the best ones are, are solar vents. They just, they have like wax inside of them that expands and contracts when it gets warm and they automatically open and close um, with no electricity, which Oh, is that's light. cool. So they just go when the wax heats up, they open. Yep. Wow. Okay. Yeah. Uh, although they can sometimes get stuck, um, or need replacement, but it's a very nice, like low maintenance solution for events. Okay. I would, I would highly recommend them. Um, the kits that you buy, uh, will probably not have any ventilation built in. Um, unless it's like a really nice kit and might come with its own vents and stuff, you will have to add your own fans almost always. Okay. And, and I think that fans are a necessity for a greenhouse to, in order to control the, the humidity, especially in the mm -hmm. temperature. So I wouldn't, I would definitely bake that into the cost of building a greenhouse because it's, it's a necessary component. Because you're running the fans with the greenhouse door closed to get that circulation moving so that mm -hmm. humidity, because I, I, I asked listeners what big questions they had for you and almost every question revolved around rot mm -hmm. and ventilation, because I guess that's something that when a lot of people buy these kits or I guess cold frames, they're not taking in that into consideration and they basically have plants sitting in these hot humid greenhouses with no yeah. ventilation with the door closed and the plants are miserable mm -hmm. greenhouses are like supremely effective at their job they can yeah. raise the the temperature anywhere from like five degrees fahrenheit to to 25 30 degrees fahrenheit greater than the ambient temperature mm -hmm. um, depending on how well they're insulated so you could very easily cook your plants if yeah. you if you don't have proper ventilation yeah. And when it comes to electricity, can you buy kits that come with electricity hookups and you run a extender mm. from your house or that's really more of a custom job? That seems like it probably exists. I'm not aware of any like that. Okay. Um, Cause I think that greenhouses tend to, to not have electricity involved when you buy a kit mm -hmm. um, just for simplicity's sake. And, you know, for compliance reasons. Um, most of the, like when you want to run electricity to your greenhouse, for example, it's, it's kind of like an either, or like either you're going to just run an extension cord from your house. Cause you mm -hmm. only need to do this, you know, like maybe run a heater over the winter or something. Um, or you're going to pay to, you know, have a contractor come and run power to your greenhouse, which is a okay. whole other thing, which will probably also require you to get the city involved for permits. So unfortunately, there's not a good in between. Yeah. Um, you like it would be nice if your greenhouse could be uh, self-sustaining from an electricity standpoint. Solar panels are a really common question. And to be honest, as much as I love renewable energy, uh, they're not a great solution for greenhouses, mostly because they're competing with the primary resource that your plants want, which is light. Um, if you put oh, greenhouse the panel is blocking the <laughs> yeah, light exactly. for the greenhouse. Okay. Yeah. I mean, you could totally have a, a solar panel farm like on your house that's that is powering your greenhouse or something. That works. Yeah. Um, but there's no good place to put a solar panel on a greenhouse. Okay. Unfortunately. Very interesting. Yeah. Okay. So those are some good options. Though. <laughs> 